you no longer need to be the middleman for your apps. Out of box are the triggered automations. They run in the background automatically. We have two types of triggers, schedule triggers and event-based triggers. The schedule triggers, they run periodically every so often. And the event-based triggers, they run your out of box when something happens in one of your web apps. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about out of box, how to create them, how to edit them, turn them on, turn them off, and how to see all of the invocations of commands. Let's dive right into it. Event-based triggers, they start an automation when something happens in one of your web apps. Right here in front of me, I have an automation that got triggered because I have an event in one minute. In today's tutorial, we'll take a look at an out of book that will send us a Slack message when there is a new Jira ticket assigned to me. Let's take a look. So we're going to launch Bardeen as usual by clicking on the extension icon. And here in the out of box tab, let's click on create out of book. And here we have two types of triggers scheduled and when something happens. So let's go ahead and pick Jira in the site panel. And here we have the when triggers. So when a Jira issue is added to a uh, project, so let's pick the project. I think I have test project over here. And then uh, we can have additional filters such as what should be the name of that issue, uh, or we can do filtering by SID. So I only want tickets that are created for me. All right, so here I am. I've just selected uh, myself and here we have our trigger action. Now let's go ahead and create another action. We're going to create a notification, browser notification, and the message should say, it should have the, uh, the summary of the issue right here. And the title should have the URL. And for URL, let's also do the URL uh, just like this. All right. So that's our second action. So when a new issue is created and is assigned to me, then we're showing a browser notification. If I click on the browser notification, it will redirect me to the issue itself. And then finally, I want to send myself the title of that Jira issue and the link to the issue. So we're going to find the send select message action we're going to send it to Bardeen demo, and then we're going to send the title of the issue. So here we have a summary, and then I'm going to add another argument, and then I'm going to send the URL of the issue, all right? So that's all I want. I'm going to click on done, and that's our auto book. I'm going to click on save and give it a name. It's going to be called when issue is assigned to me then send Slack, send to Slack. All right, that's the name of our auto book. It's being saved now. Let's close the builder. And here we have the new auto book showing up in my auto box tab. You need to turn it on. So toggle here and now it's working. Now let's go ahead and test this out of book. We're going to trigger the out of book manually by creating an issue assigned to me. So here I am in Jira. I'm going to click on create new issue, call it a demo for video. It's going to be in the test project and I'm going to scroll down and assign that issue to myself. Click on create and here we have the issue created. Now we'll see a browser notification uh, show up shortly and it's going to also send the issue here in Slack. It gets refreshed about every minute, so it might take a second. And there we have it. Here is our title and the link to the issue. We can go ahead and open it. And if you go to your browser notifications over here, there it is. You can also click on it and it's going to open up in a new tab. Schedule trigger. It runs periodically every so often. In this example, I'm going to show you how to create an auto book that gets fired every morning and it is going to send you a screenshot of your favorite website directly in Slack. Let's go ahead and build it. First, we're going to launch Bardeen as always. Click on create auto book. And here on the left side, we see scheduled. 
and we're going to send our first screenshot starting in uh, two minutes so let's do let's do three minutes in three minutes and we're going to run it every day and it's never going to stop so it's uh, doesn't have the stop date otherwise you can run it after a certain number of occurrences actually let's run it for five times okay and this trigger is going to get fired every morning or every day at 14 12 so that's our when trigger now let's add another action is going to take a screenshot of a page so here i'm going to type pdf and we're going to get pages pdf using a url i'm going to paste the url we're going to take stats daily stats of covid and that's going to be our screenshot and finally we're going to find our slack action so slack uh, send a file by slack we're going to send it in marketing that's the channel reference the file from the previous command right there and here we're going to say today's stats it's going to be our message click on done save this auto book and say covid stats in slack that's the name of our auto book save and let's close the builder so here we have it let's enable this auto book and we're going to go ahead and check it out in slack when it fires and here we have it here's our pdf right here sent to us in slack And finally, here are a few additional tips about working with AutoBooks. When you open Bardeen and go to the Automations tab, My Playbooks, you will see your active AutoBooks over here. You can disable them just like this and re-enable them if you want to re-enable them. When you click on this button, you'll see the command invocations for the period of time. So here we have the action from the demo earlier. And when you click on see return data, you can go ahead and open the resulting JIRA ticket. And you can do that for the previous invocations as well. You will also see this information here in the activities tab. So there we have the trigger that was run. And finally, if you want to edit your out of book, you can do it in a similar way as you would with playbooks. Just click on that button over there and open in builder and you can modify your out of book just like that.